Hello and welcome to my channel. Today I'll be telling you how to create a data analyst portfolio using Google Data Studio. So in this tutorial, I'll show you how to embed other Google Data Studio reports, other um, YouTube video in your Google Data Studio, and how to add page navigations and URL to images and text. So at the end, we're going to create a portfolio that is interactive and you can show some of the work you've done. So if you haven't subscribed already, do subscribe now, share with some of your colleagues and let's have a view of what I've created. So I have three pages, the home page, an about me page and the portfolio page. You can obviously decide how many pages you want to have in your portfolio. But I thought I'd just create a story of what I can do, who I am, my experience, and an example of some of the work I've done that shared, that, that can be shared. So this is the YouTube video which I've been able to embed in Google Data Studio and the Google Data Studio report as well, which, yeah, like you see, it's been embedded in Google Data Studio and you can flip from page to page. And then a URL in an image, you can click to open in another tab. You can click to open in the tab you're in, depending on the setting you've put that on. But on the whole, it's an interactive portfolio in Google Data Studio created for free and showcases some of the work you've done and just having the portfolio as well showcases your expertise in Google Data Studio. So all my reports, I always have a hidden page, which you can also do in Google Data Studio, hide a page, hide a page from the view mode. And these pages are where I kind of write out what I want to do in the report or create some measures, like tinker around measures and metrics. And here, one of the pages was actually creating a timeline of my work experience and education in Google Data Studio using shapes and text boxes. So Google Data Studio is quite a versatile tool, and that's why I talk about it a lot. So let's get started. First things first is to create a blank report or I will be putting a link to my report down below, which you can, you know, use, make a copy of and use as a starting point. So you need to add data to be able to start using Google Data Studio, which is web, but that's what we've done. So I've just added YouTube analytics data, but you can add data from CSV or any other data source that you've linked to your Google Data Studio previously. And just starting off, I import a, a banner by Heather. This time around, I've created this in another tool because this is the banner I kind of use across most of my social media platforms. So I have that already. And with that done, I create a text blob of, of just an introduction of who I am and some of the things that I can do for him, anybody who is interested in my expertise. And I'm just going to copy and paste it, not to take your time. Paste it. I would just then format it to look presentable, um, which is, again, nice thing about doing this in Google Data Studio. You immediately see what it looks like and you can tinker around with it to make it how you want it to be. So next would be inserting a hyperlink that can move users from page to page. And to do that, I start again with a text box where I write a text and then selecting that text will add a link to it. And because I want to, for it to move someone from one page to another, I'm going to create those pages. So I'm creating an about me page, a blank page, and another page which will be named portfolio. And as you would see in a couple of seconds, in 
the first page, it's then easy to highlight the text that I'm interested in. Click on insert URL and select the page that I want it to, to, to take me to. So I'm going to select the about me page, which I've created and named about me. And so I'm not going to tick open in another tab because I want it to open in the tab that I'm working in. And I'll just increase the text and format it to look the way I want to. But quick warning, this is in Google Data Studio. Once you insert a link to a text, it's kind of hard to accept the formats that you want. And there's some workarounds for this, which I'll probably share in another tutorial. So I've just inserted a picture of myself. It's about me. And I'm going to format it to look as I want to buy changing the border, changing the radius of the border, changing the border color, color, and just making it nice. So I'm going to group it just so that when I move about me, the image moves with it as well. It's a great tip if you have visuals or things that you know work with each other and you want them to move with each other, you group them. Next, I'm going to create a link to portfolio, but I'm just going to copy and paste it again so that we don't spend a lot of time. You've seen how I did the about me, so you do the same for portfolio. Text box, write portfolio, put in the image. So what I've done now is to reduce the size of that page and change the theme to something that looks okay. So I've reduced, and that's a good thing about Google Data Studio. You can increase and reduce the size of the page as you want, just by right clicking and going to style. So again, as you can see, we have both images of the social media pages that I use, which I've linked to those pages. So you click on that image and it takes you to my social media page. Isn't that cool to be able to do this for free in Google Data Studio? I'm now in the About Me page. And again, I've put in the header and another text of what I'm all about, which, are, which you are just going to copy and paste. And one thing which I briefly showed you in the preview was I also put in my timeline, per se, of my career and my education. I've created this in Google Data Studio and just taking an image of it. So I'm going to change the setting of this page. And for this, I went to page, current page setting, and I want to increase the length of the page because the text or the things I have in this page are a lot more than the first page. And so this is what I'm doing here. Okay, so it's bigger, and I think as big as I want it to be. Now I'm going to copy and paste what I've written about me. And it's just what I'm doing at the moment, the tools that I use, and how you can contact me for future work. And for this, I've created a, a text and inserted a link to the text that will take you to my LinkedIn page, which is where you can easily contact me. Again, in this page, I've added hyperlinks that can move people from this page to the portfolio page or to the home page, and icons of social media that you can reach me from. So YouTube, LinkedIn, Twitter, and my GitHub page. So inserting an image, clicking on add link, and adding the link would then allow people to click on that image and go to the social media platform that you want them to go to. So now we're going to move to the last page, which is the portfolio page. Because I've copied and pasted this from another report, the links are all gone, but you already, you, you understand what I'm trying to do here. I've shown you how to do it in the first page, so I'm not going to spend a lot of time to get that working. So again, I'm going to page setting to change this page. This time I want it to be US portrait because I want it to be long because I want to showcase a lot of my work. 
just to give and that's what portfolios are to show the breadth of the things you can do or how specialist you are so it just shows my youtube channel some of the reports i've created on google data studio and shared some of the some of my machine learning models in my github which also is open and just some other work that are shareable for example i did an internship with the university of manchester where i created blog posts on how to use python sars start starter and vivo and so and, and some other tools and i've put this image that kind of represents what i've done python map and vivo word cloud and i'm inserting a link by going to data and pasting in the link that I want in there. So no option to open the link in the page, so it's going to open the link in a new tab, which is good, which is actually what you want it to do. So this time around, to embed YouTube, you need to go to embed link because you want it to play in Google Data Studio. And just put in the normal link you will get from when you try to share a YouTube video, you just put that there and again put in a blob of text that kind of talks about what what this video represents it just represents my desire and ability to create videos that help aspiring data analysts to grow their skills so this next one again is a url embed and this time around the embed link is different from just clicking share google data studio and getting the embed link so i'm going to put a link to one of my youtube tutorials where i show you how to get the embed link of a google data studio report so with that again you can flip from page to page in google data studio of another google data studio i'm just going to copy and paste the other work that I show, which is a text and uh, an image, which I've inserted a link to the image that will lead people to those pages that talk about the work that I've done. So I've shown you quickly how to create a portfolio. If you do create one, please do share it in the comment section below. I would love to see what you've done, how creative you've 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 gone because i know this is not that creative this isn't just a quick this is what you can do in google data studio do it to showcase some of the brilliant work that i know some of you are already doing and put in your linkedin in, on your twitter at the end of your of emails you send people so that i can see some of the work you've done i hope i hope this has been helpful i hope um, you found it inspiring as well. I, I really liked creating this. I had fun putting this together and I hope it helps some of you to do the same. I just encourage a lot of people to try out Google Data Studio because of the low cost of entry. It's free to use. There are loads of tutorial on YouTube and I create a lot of content and I hope to create lots of content on that as well so it's easy to learn i'm just playing about with some of the buttons that lead you to my social media page so something important to do is to change your share setting to be anyone in the web on the internet can view this report or they can even search and find this report if people are looking for your name so name the report something that you know people will search for maybe someone wants to check you out so i've named mine noelin's portfolio i've changed the share setting to anyone in the web can see it but not edit it because i know people are cheeky thank you for watching please subscribe please share please watch all my other videos bye